In this lecture, you will learn what is immediately invoked function expression in JavaScript, what is its use, and how we can create it. With the release of ES6, we have two new keywords in JavaScript to declare a variable. And these two new keywords are let and const. And when we declare a variable using let or const, that variable has a block scope. So let's say if we have to create a private variable, in that case, we can use a block like this. And inside this block, we can create variables. We can declare variables using let or const keyword. So let's declare a variable a. Let's say the value stored in this variable a is 100. Let's also create another variable using const keyword. Let's say it's b. And the value stored in this variable b is hello. OK, so since we are declaring variable using let and const, and we have declared this variable inside this block, the scope of this variable a and variable b will be this block. So outside this block, this variable a and b will not be visible. So if I try to access this variable a or variable b outside of this block, we will get an error. If I save the changes, you can see we have an error a is not defined. That's because this variable a is declared using let keyword and it is declared inside this block. So this variable a is only visible inside this block. It is not visible outside of this block and that's why we have this error. So in ES6, if we have to create a private variable which is not visible to the outside world, we can use a block like this and inside that we can create variables, you know, we can create private variables using let or const keyword. But prior to ES6, we did not had this let and const keyword. So if we had to create a variable prior to ES6, we had to use var keyword to create that variable, right? Like this. And in the last lecture, we learned that a variable declared using var keyword has a function scope. It does not have a block scope. So even though we are declaring this variable a and b inside this block, these two variables are still visible outside of this block. And to prove this, if I save the changes now, you will see that the value of variable A has been logged here. So I'm able to access this variable A outside of this block. So these two variables are no more a private variable. Now, in the last lecture, we learned that a variable declared using var keyword has a function scope. So if we want to create private variables using var keyword, then we will have to declare them inside a function. OK, so if I go ahead and declare these two variables inside a function, so let's create a function maybe and let's call it greet. OK, so now this variable a and b is declared inside a function. So now this variable a and b is private to this function. These two variables are now not visible outside of this function. And to prove this, now, if I try to access this variable a and if I save the changes, you will notice that we have an error a is not defined. So prior to ES6, when we had to create a private variable, the only way to do that is was by creating a function and inside that function declaring the private variables. Now here we have simply declared these variables. These variables are not yet created. They will be created only after we call this greet function. OK, so let's go ahead and call this greet function. So now when we are calling this greet function, this function will be executed and these two variables a and b will be created in the memory. But if I don't call this greet function, in that case, these two variables will never get created. So creating variables using var keyword by declaring them inside a function had two problems. The first problem is since this is a function declaration, we can call this function as many times as we want. OK, so this is the first problem. And the second problem is in order to create these private variables using var keyword inside a function, we also need to explicitly call this function. OK, and to overcome this problem, the JavaScript developers came up with the pattern called as immediately invoked function expression. So this immediately invoked function expression is a pattern which was used prior to ES6 in order to create private variables. 
Let's understand how we can create an immediately invoked function expression. So let's first go ahead and comment this code here. And let's see how to create immediately invoked function expression. Now this immediately invoked function expression in short is also called as iffy. So to create an immediately invoked function expression or iffy, we use a function expression. Okay, so we use an anonymous function like this and inside this we can declare our private variables. So let's declare these two variables here. Okay. And here I'm using var keyword because prior to ES6, we did not have let and const keyword. All right. And let's also log a message in the console, you know, just to know that this function has been executed. So let's say maybe function executed. Okay. Or let's say if we function executed. Okay. So here first we are creating a function expression. Now here, uh, you know, uh, when we are creating this function here, we are not assigning this function to any variable, right? So JavaScript engine will think that here we are trying to create a function declaration, a function statement and a function statement needs a name and we are not providing any name here. So if I save these changes here, it is going to throw an exception and it says function statement requires a function name. Okay, so JavaScript engine thinks that here we are trying to create a function statement. Okay, now in order to avoid this error, what we have to do is we have to convert this statement into an expression and to convert a statement into an expression, we can wrap that wrap that statement within parenthesis like this. So now this is an expression and an expression should always end with a semicolon. Okay. Now, if I go ahead and save the changes, we do not have any error. All right. Now, here we created a function expression. Now, this function expression should also get invoked immediately as soon as the function definition completes. And to invoke it immediately, we can use another set of parentheses on this, like this. And now what will happen when this JavaScript program will run, it will immediately execute this function expression. And to prove this, let's simply save the changes and you can see that this function has been executed and it has logged this message in the console. So here we are not calling this function explicitly. It has been executed as soon as the function definition completed. And this is what an immediately invoked function expression is. And using this pattern, we can create private variables and we can also avoid these two problems. So here, since this function does not have a name, we cannot call it as many times as we want. And in order to create these private variables, we do not have to call this function explicitly, right? This function is getting executed as soon as we run the program. Okay. So as soon as this JavaScript program runs, this function will get executed and these two private variables will be created. And these two variables are not accessible outside of this function because a variable declared using var keyword has function scope. So this, two, this variable a and b, they're only accessible within this function. Okay. They're not accessible outside of this function. So these are private variables. So this is how the JavaScript developers used to create private variables prior to ES6 using function expression. Now we can also create a function expression using arrow function. So let's use an arrow function here and let's say from this arrow function we simply want to log a message let's say maybe arrow function executed all right now here we have created an arrow function but this function will not get executed immediately because this is simply a function we need to first convert it to an expression and to do that we can wrap it within parenthesis and then in order to execute it immediately we need to call another set of parenthesis and since it is an expression we also need to end it with a semicolon like this so now if i go ahead and save the changes this message should also be logged in the console as you can see so this arrow function also got executed immediately 
as soon as this JavaScript program runs. So here we are creating an iffy using arrow function. Now, what if you want to pass some parameters, parameter values to an iffy? So for example, let's say this function is also taking two parameters, name and maybe let's say age. Okay, so how we can pass values for these two parameters? That's very simple. Inside this parenthesis, you can pass the value for these two parameters. So let's say name is John and age is 28. And inside this function, let's also log this name and age parameter in the console. So console.log name and let's lo also log age. Let's go ahead and save the changes and you can see name and age has also been logged. So this is how you can pass parameter values for the function expression. Okay. So in order to create a function expression, there are, I mean, immediately invoked function expression, there are three simple steps involved. The first step is to create a function expression. So here we are creating a function expression. Then the second step is to wrap this function expression within parenthesis. And finally, in order to execute that function immediately, we need to use another set of parentheses like we are doing here. Okay, so this is how you can create an immediately invoked function expression or iffy. Now, what is the use of iffy? So prior to ES6, the only way to create a new scope was by using var keyword inside a function. Okay. So if we had to create a private variable, we had, to, we had to create a function and inside that function, we can create our private variables. So the only way to create a scope was by creating a new function. So to create private variables prior to ES6, we had to create a function and inside that function, we used to declare variables. And using this concept, the JavaScript developers came up with this pattern where they create a function expression. Inside that function expression, they declare their private variables and they use another set of parentheses in order to execute that function immediately. Okay, so basically the use of immediately invoked function expression is to create private variables prior to ES6. All right, and an immediately invoked function, function expression gets executed immediately. We don't have to call it explicitly. All right, so this is all from this lecture. If you have any question related to immediately invoked function expression, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.